हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट एंड मेट्रोलॉजी माई सेल्फ अभिषेक त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर डिस्कसिंग इंटरमीडिएट मॉडिफाइंग इंटरमीडिएटिंग डिवाइसिस एंड एडवांसमेंट्स इन द मेट्रोलॉजी एरा करंट एडवांसमेंट इन द मेट्रोलॉजिकल एरा इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक इनहेरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर डायरेक्टली लिंक विद द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम्स देन वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नल कंडीशनिंग डिवाइसिस एंड हाउ दे आर डोमिनेटिंग ओवर द मैकेनिकल सिस्टम्स इन अ करंट एडवांसमेंट ऑफ द मेट्रोलॉजिकल एरा देन वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द इनपुट सर्किटरी द इनहेरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर जनरेटेड विद इन द सिस्टम्स आर प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर राइज इन द एम्पलीफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर राइज इन द कैनेमेटिक लिनियरिटी देन द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ एम्पलीफिकेशन द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ फ्रिक्शनल रेजिस्टेंस देन द प्रॉब्लम विच आर जनरेटेड ड्यू टू द टॉलरेंस जोन ड्यू टू द टेम्परेचर इफेक्ट एंड ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम्स आर बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स विच आर directly relate with the mechanical systems and they are very inherent problems we can not so what is the terminating devices a final stage or the we can say terminating stage that provides the information about the input signal quantity in the form that can be easily read by the human beings or the controller here this is the by not b it's a by can be easily read by the human beings or the controller so what is the basic aim of the terminating device is terminating device provide the information which is collected from the input signal in the uh, accessible form for the human being or for the controller or for the second stage of the uh, measuring system second stage of the given system is known as a terminating devices the terminating devices as i have told you is classified into three different categories the first one that is the indicator the first one that is the indicator the indicator is used to give the indication of the input which is being measured now indicator what do you mean by indicator so suppose i am using a basic voltmeter suppose this is the value 5 over here start with 0 then 6 7 8 9 10 10 starting with the 0 and ends at the 10 so what does indicator shows suppose whatever the connection has been provided over here whatever the connection has been provided whatever the voltage has been generated let's say we are supposed to provide the 7 volt as a input so what the pointer will show the pointer will show at the 7 volt condition this particular instrument is known as a indicator instrument because it shows the input signal in the indicating form do you remember in the indicator we are not supposed to find the permanent record to find the permanent record you are supposed to uh, go for the recorder indicator will show the transient response of the given system suppose the voltage will be changed to the 6 volt then directly the uh, particular pointer will change its position to the 6 volt suppose it will change to the 3 volt then the pointer will transiently change its position to the 3 volt so what does it shows what does it mean that uh the particular indicator will show the input will show the input or will indicate the value of the input in a transient form it means at the each and every fraction of time at the each and every fraction of time frame the indicator will change the pointer will change its position and it will indicate the input continuously so if we are supposed to well find the value continuously we are using the indicator but indicator does not provide any kind of permanent record then the second one that is the recorder as the name suggest it will record uh, to record in a form that can be evaluated by the human sense then uh, we are using recorder as i have told you suppose i want some sort of the recording i want some sort of the permanent records for the further uh, experiments for the further reference then we are go for the recorder suppose in the cardiogram or we can say in the seismograph the uh, waves of the earthquake will be recorded so what the seismograph shows the seismograph shows some sort of the some sort of the vibrations the seismograph shows some sort of the vibrations and all these vibration will be plotted over a page so in the particular recording devices whatever the uh, reading will be generated whatever the plotting has been generated the plotting has been plotted over the plate paper the plotted uh, the plotted data will be plot over the paper or we can say in the computer system or we can say in any sort of the memory data 
just to provide the recordings just to provide the permanent record of the given data for the future reference so we are using the recorder so like seismograph like cardiogram data and all these particular elements like radiography then we are using ultrasonic wavelength testing then all these particular data will be recorded and the recorded data will be stored for the uh, evaluation by the human access so all these uh, particular elements all these particular devices are known as a recorder devices and the last but not the least that is a processor or okay, we can say controller the processor and controller will use to feed uh, to read out or recording devices and or controlling systems suppose we are using the ac and i have maintained the temperature of the ac let's say 22 degree celsius a controller has been provided inside the measuring system so once the measuring system will be start its own loop then once it will achieve the temperature of 22 degree celsius the controller will be activated and it will provide the signal to the compressor to turn off the compressor then the compressor will be turned off once the temperature will rise from the 22 degree let's say 23 or 24 degree again the control will provide some sort of the signal to the compressor that to start the compressor and to maintain the temperature of the given room so controller will use to provide some sort of the controlling effect over the system and once we are using the controller we are supposed to provide some sort of the feedback to the main signal primary indicating primary detecting uh, devices or we can say we are using the feedback system to within the loop to complete the closed loop in the indicator in the recorder we are supposed to use open loop system and it will be uh, okay to use the open system but particularly we are using controller we are supposed to provide some sort of the closed loop and uh, to close the loop we are using the feedback system so these particular controllers are useful to control the given system to control the recording devices and by taking the control over the recording device it will also indicate some sort of the changes it will also suggest some sort of the changes in the mechanical system to maintain the basic requirement to maintain the pre prerequisite requirement of the given system so these are the basic terminating devices then the next topic that is the analog voltmeter the topic named as analog voltmeter as we have already discussed that uh, what is the analog voltmeter analog voltmeter means uh, we are supposed to provide some sort of the pointer and the sensing uh, sorry uh, we are supposed to provide some sort of the pointer and the calibrated scale has been provided to the system the circuit diagram shows the analog voltmeter in the particular analog voltmeter we are supposed to provide some sort of the load and the voltage supply has been provided within the two ends of the two leads of the voltmeter then the non inductive resistance has been provided which will not generate any kind of inductive uh, method in it, it will not generate any kind of inductance within the system and the analog voltmeter will be run whereas the digital voltmeter in which we are supposed to provide the digital display for providing the output do remember in the digital voltmeter we are supposed to use some sort of the digital uh, display unit for the output uh, indication whereas in the analog uh, voltmeter we are supposed to provide uh, still we are supposed to provide pointer and uh, uh, calibrated scale for providing the analog output for providing the analog voltage of the given system so this is the basic difference between the analog and digital voltmeter the name of the topic that is the cathode ray oscilloscope as the name suggests we are supposed to use some sort of the cathode wave rays we are supposed to use some sort of cathode rays to generate the effect of the rays over the screen this is a very digital instrument for finding the uh, points over the digital display the figure shows a basic constructional features of the cathode ray oscilloscope and here this is the three dimensional original uh, picture representation of the CRO CRO means cathode ray oscilloscope in this particular CRO in this particular cathode ray oscilloscope we are supposed to provide some sort of the input over this particular point this is the input signal portion then whatever the input has been provided the first one the very basic vertical amplifiers has been provided the vertical amplifier is used to amplify the signal in the vertical directions then from the vertical amplifier the uh, one portion of the uh, signals has been uh, the one portion of the signal has been cut it down and it will generate it will provide it to the triggering circuit the triggering circuit is used to generate some sort of the triggers in the CRO uh, system then 
whatever the triggers has been generated it will provide it to the time based generator and then to the horizontal amplifier the horizontal amplifier is used to generate some sort of the horizontal amplification to the main system then the vertical uh, whatever the remaining signals are uh, coming out from the vertical amplifier system it will provide it to the delay line the delay line is used to provide some sort of the delay till these particular signals will pass through all these circuits and come to its original position the delay line will hold the signals and whatever the uh, holding time will be provided after the holding time the signal will be transferred to the vertical deflection plates so from the vertical amplifier whatever the signals are coming out the uh, signals are provided to the vertical amplification plate and whatever the horizontal uh, amplifier will provide some sort of the signals it will provide it to the horizontal amplification plate then in the center of the CRO the CRT cathode ray tube has been provided this particular tube is known as a cathode ray tube the cathode ray tube is a very important element for the uh, CRO element in the CRT or we can say in the particular uh, cathode ray tube uh, we are supposed to provide some sort of the heater the heater will generate some sort of the rays of the cathode then the focusing anode has been provided on the both the side and whatever the flow of the electrons has been generated the flow of the electron will pass through the center line of the particular setup then it will be passed to the vertical deflector and then it will pass to the horizontal deflector and it will generate some sort of the triggering over the display over here the screen has been provided the screen is contain some sort of the luminous spot once the uh, electron will once the electron will strike the screen once the electron will strike the screen then it will generate some sort of the luminous spot and due to this luminous spot it will generate some sort of the illumination over the screen and due to this illumination of the screen we can check the image we can check the particular plot we can check the graph we can check the point of the graph over the screen and continuous illumination of the uh, graph continuous illumination of the screen will generate some sort of the image graph image the basic or we can say the major subsystems of the CRO that is the power supply the very basic system is a power supply if you are not supposed to provide a proper power supply or we can say if you are not supposed to provide the proper arrangement of the power supply the CRO will not work properly then CRT as we have discussed the CRT the cathode ray tube inside the CRO it's a very prime element for the working of the cathode ray oscilloscope then horizontal and vertical amplifiers are useful to amplify the signals in the both horizontal and vertical direction simultaneously then triggering circuit triggering circuit is used to trigger the time based generator and uh, to perform the working of the CRO properly then time based generator is there and at the end it's a delay time delay line as I have told you that the delay line will provide some sort of the delay within the uh, signals which are coming from the vertical amplifier to hold the signals till the horizontal amplifier will provide some sort of the output the horizontal deflection plate so this is the basic concept of the CR or we can say cathode ray oscilloscope.